Okay, hi folks, back to the diesel heater again. And my surprise, it's um, the actual parts just turned up. There's the new one, and there's the busted one. But I've got, now got to put this, I think it's called atomizer screen, back into there. I'm going to try and do it filming it, but it's going to be a bit difficult to do. So I've got to get it in there. Without dropping it. Okay, so then what I was going to use something slightly bigger just to make sure it's pushed down the hole. I'm thinking. There we go. Absolutely perfect tool, and that came with the spanners, and it's in by a little bit. Yep. And then we're going to screw in very carefully the brand new heater plug just by using the wires. Okay. They're not that delicate, by the way, you know, they are a little bit brittle. But that looks about it. Okay, and then using the makeshift one just put them over the hole so it fits nicely make sure he's in properly i don't want to slip and then snap it so just make sure that it's in properly down nice and tight Beautiful. Okay. And then uh, rewire it. Then holding the wires, just gently push the cap down. So, a bit fiddly. Okay, it's nicely done. Pushing the wires back on. That's it. Okay, and then making sure nothing gets trapped. And then pop the Allen key back in there. And I think just mount it all back up again and then do the exhaust. No need to over tighten anything, just so it's just nice and secure. I'm just going to spin the. That's it, not catching. I'll pop the casing back on while we've got it out so it's easy to get to. Pretty straightforward. Just slide the back in. Lip there, and then push the two clips together. And you should be home. So now we're going to drop the plate back in its position, and then screws which are hanging through we will rebolt into position, and then we're going to give it a test in a sec. Okay, so all the uh, nuts are back on and secure. Just going to do a quick. So we make sure that the fan spins freely and doesn't catch. Okay, now I'm going to put the guard back on. Next, I've just put the exhaust back on, so I'm going to really tighten this up nice and tight because we don't want any fumes coming out. 
then we'll check everything, tidy the wires up, put the transformer back inside the box, and we'll give it a test. Okay, that's nice and tight. Right, let's put it into situ and give it a blast. Okay, so I had to remove the, I forgot to go remove the outside ducting, so you just squeeze that together, pull that off, undo three screws, and I'll put the ducting back on, put that back on, and then, then we should be ready in a minute. Okay, tighten that up. I'll put the screws back in and then we'll give it a go. Okay, all back in situ, and I'm going to switch it on in a second. And if it fails, I'm not going to turn it off and pretend it didn't work. We're just going to see what happens. <laughs> it's fingers crossed. It's weird, isn't it? You know, you think. Can you see that all right? It's a bit quivery, sorry, I'm holding it by hand. Come on, baby, wait for the pump to kick in. It takes a while, as you probably know. I'll pause you for a second. Well, we have a pump. Let me focus. Yeah, there we go. So the pump's fired up. I love this sort of stuff. I love it. Oh. Hold on. Here we go. One bar. So, yeah, the pump's working. As you can see, that little, you've got the pump diagram going on we've got the heater plug going on second bar coming up now we've got warm air coming out yeah we have heat baby <laughs> I love this right that's brilliant so I've ordered another plug as well because why not and what I'll do I'll um, put the plug inside this case and just leave it there and that's it then we've got a spare so I'll get this fired up and um, see what sort of heat she dishes out she's getting warm now already I've actually, to be honest with you, I bought another one to go in the other part of the uh, garage to keep that warm. Um, I will show you that when it comes, I'll do an unboxing. It's slightly different to this one and it's already pre-built in its own case. So we'll look at the difference because I like mine and I like the way I built it and I like the fact that it's strong and it's totally, oh, she's kicking up now. You having all right, Paddy? Okay, let's have a look. Come out. There we go. Sounds brilliant. <laughs> I love this. The heat's coming out now. It's surprising how much you miss one when you haven't got one. These are absolutely brilliant. Uh, if you can see that, what we have to do now. Three digits. A bit of glare there, aren't we? Yeah, that's brilliant. Anyway, so if you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe button over there and the notification bell. Over here, up and coming videos. Take care. Thank you very much. If you did watch it and the thumbs up, that would be great. It helps the channel no end. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, which will probably be the unboxing of one of these. Slightly different. Well worth looking at. All right, take care. Okay, All just confirm, full power. Running beautiful, lovely and warm in here. Not a single smell of diesel or anything. Superb. Okay, sorry, thank you again for watching. All the best.